It's our country. See, the country of the United States, man, the old America, we were known as a import and export co uh, country. Really, an export country. You got to think. Back in the beginning, before the Ford came around, Chevy, all that, the train, we put the tracks mm -hmm. and all that. Before the Prohibition came in, yeah. we had our own steel, own copper, own material. And we was exporting to China, to everybody. Yeah. That's why we came so big of a country, man. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. feel me? Remember, we allowed the Italians to come over here. And who was allowed to come? The Irish. Yeah. Back in the early 1900s. Yeah. You feel me? The immigration started coming in then through the Italians and through the, and through the what's it called? Through the Irish. Yeah, they all came in through New York. They all came in through New York, man. Little know the history, man. This is yeah. the history of our country, man. Yeah. You feel me? So, with, through that, listen to me. They know that this is the melting pot. This is the land of milk and honey. Yeah. You can get on in the United States. Look at how I'm on the title. Most of them open up piece of businesses and they open up businesses. Mm -hmm. They were bosses. Chinese they, restaurant. Chinese, everything. Mm -hmm. The immigrants came over here and opened up businesses, man. And the city that we were born in, from the projects to nothing, yeah. or from the farms, from the lands, from the backwoods. Because yeah. we was in the South when all this shit was going on. We weren't even born. Yeah. So this shit been trickling on down, man. So I'm saying, so the power, the power of it is, let me tell you something. People talk about Trump, people talk about Obama. Go, I see it. Yeah, Obama was the first black president. I liked it. Obama stand for some, I liked it. But Obama trying to please the people. That's what I don't like. He, you're a leader, you gotta lay down the rules. You know good and well if you know the word, know the Bible. I don't even know if he know the Bible. I know he got to because he got knowledge. You know the Bible says abomination to have say to have homosexuality. That's an abomination. He destroyed a country, he destroyed a city, Samaria Gomorrah, for her, for abomination. Come on, man. That's just real. That's fact. That's in the word. George Bush didn't allow that, and Trump ain't allowing it. I don't give a dog if you're going to run this country, if you're going to leave, guess what? You got to go by the laws of the higher power. I think. The internet today, you got access to Google to do, to manufacture, to build, to learn anything you want to do. Listen to me. Carlos once said this years ago, back in the 80s. He said, Everything you do in private is illegal, but everything is legal if the government can see you. Don't get me wrong, America is the great place I live. But the Karis one said, listen to the knowledge he give. He said, cocaine business controls America. Gunja business controls America. What he said, Karis wanted to call some hysteria. Illegal business controls America. Question, if you could say one thing to the youth to like make them open their eyes a little bit more about the situations and stuff that goes on in the world, what would you say to them? I tell the youth, guess what y'all? You are the future. You are a presence, you are a voice, and also you have an ear to hear, learn, get knowledgeable. I don't give a dog on what type of race you are. Fight for something and stand for something. You hear me? Fight for something and stand for something. Know who you are as a person, as an individual, and get it, you know? Guess what? I'm going to tell y'all something. You can't do wrong. You can do wrong, it's going to catch up with you. Guess what? You can't beat the system. So you got to work with the system. Allow the system to work with you. That's what you got to do. You get the education, get the education. But guess what? With education, you're going to accomplish and be what you want to be with education. Now, for the street niggas, because I'm a street nigga. I come from nothing. I went to the penitentiary. So guess what? To the street niggas, guess what? You know how it is out here. If you're going to do what you're going to do, be silent, be true to who you is. Don't take nobody down. Deal with your own consequences and make it happen. And give back to the give back to the peoples, man. Don't say don't be out here, you know what I'm saying, getting your money and you ain't giving back to the peoples. Give back to the peoples. All the cluckers, all the folks ain't got nothing. Look out for them. Make sure they good. That's how you get your blessing. Cause guess what? It don't last forever.